Right, I've decided to go down the coombe first. In case time gets weird and I have to start like you literally turning back. Might even have to turn back, see. People. Oh yeah, that little tree has died now. Just a stump. See? Got pictures of that when it was um looking dead, but this lovely gorse there. You want me to get out of the way if you're on if you're on on a rhythm. Oh. You're you're nearly there now, anyhow. I expect you know anyway. I I've done it loads of times. I never. I always push my bike up here. No. Looking out for deer now. Normally the deer are... The last time I came... I did ladies, the ladies walk and then I went down the coom I'd never been down and I bumped into loads of deer and they all stopped and they let me take pictures of them. It was great. That was my last visit. Yeah, I decided I'll go down the coom first because this is the bit I don't want to rush. I don't mind rushing the next bit. Well, after I got down, I knit part of the Miss Mission is getting down to Holford Green, going up the glen. So I'm gonna. It's always harder walking up it. It's going to be a bit of a march though, because of time. I didn't realise the Wee Coombe Valley would take me so long. The Wee Coombe Coombe. Um, I was getting my stride though, I was getting my breath and getting the straps sorted on the rucksack, which is absolutely fine. I don't even hardly know it's on my back. Um, and I've still got loads of water. I mean, I've only had, um, I've had an orange. I had a carton of orange as well when I had the scotch egg earlier and I've had two big gulps of water out of three bottles that I possess um, I, like I said I won't be staying loads and loads there's the gorse ah. right over it stop a minute right just had to turn off for some Mountain bikers, that is, this is good um, mountain bike country. They've got loads of tracks, so uh, they keep the tracks clear actually. In many ways, it's um, quite a good thing because they don't go in all the ferns where the adders are, they don't go all over there, you know. So, here's my lovely Holford. We always used to just call it the Glen when I was a kid, Holford Glen. But this is actually Shepherd's Coombe and Ladies Edge is up the top. There's a great possibility I'll come back up that way. Um, but if I have to turn, if I decide to turn, because that was, say that was half past 12 at, at Big Noller. i got to see, it normally takes me an hour. So if I get to Holford for two, I think I should feel that that ain't too bad a time. If it go, start going on for three, I think oh, you're going to have to march back, girl. I 
I got a feeling there is a quicker way up from Bicknoller, but without going up that coombe. I mean, looking forward to going down that coombe as well. Anyway, I've got my stride now, I've got my breathing. Um, I've had a few things to eat. I've had um, scotch egg, fruit bar, um, orange juice, water. And I, I really want to have my cheese and tomato and crisps when I'm at Tolford Green. That's the grand, for me that will always be the place I, that will be the place, always. So you look in there, that sort of place, the adders will come out and sunbathe. You wouldn't be good to walk through. Now in January, further down this coombe, I was able to walk through stuff like that because it was all dead. There was none of this new stuff and there was little pathways that the deer had made. That's further down when we cross another stream, just down there a bit. I came down. Uh, uh, that's not a well-known coombe for people to come down, all right? Like, not many people would come through there, for example. I have videoed this, everyone, as you all know, many, many, many times. But this is July the 11th, 2020. So I've been visiting over here. My first revisit. Well, I've been doing it for years, but was on the bike. I came on a bike, went to Wordsworth House of Foxton on my bike. I had to cycle all the way back to Weston by the way. I might have got a train at Bridgewater, I can't remember now. Anyway, then there were there was a bus service. Alright, it wasn't brilliant, but you could spend a good four and five hours out here. You know, it was really good from that point of view. Now this is the hardest part of the walk, this, going up and down. I'm not going to come back this way. Uh, I might be, depending on time. Now I always think I'm nearly there, but what, what, what it is about this particular walk, even when you've crossed all the streams, right, it seems to last forever get into the green. Right, now here's the coombe here. Here's the coombe that I came down in January. And there were deer all round here. And they all stopped and said goodbye to me. And I said I didn't know when I'd be coming back. Now that was quite traumatic because I was worried about losing my van. Anyway, on that day, my somebody had damaged my exhaust pipe, by the way. Now it was either, when it was parked here, because a lot of people don't like the camper vans, or somebody else had done it. The rubber bunks that hold the hose pipe on had been cut. My exhaust, I just made it to a lay-by. Um... Fortunately, and I only just had enough money on the phone to get help. Only just enough. And he came pretty quick and we managed to tie up the exhaust, which wasn't wasn't damaged, believe it or not. We just tied it back up with ties. I could have done it just on my own, but didn't need to be towed or anything. Anyway, that didn't help when she went for the MOT. And the MOT was going to cost an awful lot of money to get her roadworthy, so they say. But they, they pinched a, a month off me with her. They pinched a month off me. Because she was still MOT to the end of February. So I wasn't very happy about any of that with them. To be quite honest. Uh, I wasn't very happy with any of that. But anyway, she's gone. I've got, I'm okay. I knew she would go eventually. And I've got different plans now. I'm doing a lot more hiking. Um, I'll be doing a lot more bed and breakfast, using buses and trains while I can. Covid came along, so basically um, I couldn't have used Alberta anyway. There was you couldn't even get out here. There were roadblocks. They weren't letting people on the Quantox. Um, so you couldn't come out. So for seven months, if I, even if I got a remote, I wouldn't have been able to use her. And that was seven. That'd be seven months of car insurance, car tax, breakdown, about eighty or ninety pound a month for not 
using her, not including petrol. But she has been patched up by the new owner. He's a dealer, by the way, not the proper owner. Uh, she's still off the road, she's not taxed, but he wants 2000 800 or 300 for her. And he reckons he's done work on her. But he couldn't have done that much because if you do proper work on those vans, they go for 15 grand. So he's patched her up. Which I could, if I had a. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just turning off a minute again. But I, I'd had a really good time with Alberta. Six years of travelling the whole of the UK. From Cornwall to Scotland, the Cairngorms, to Lindisfarne, Isle of Mull, Iona. Oh, somebody else coming now, hold on. Just let them go by, let's turn off a minute. Oh, someone else coming. Oh, I'll just leave it running, I won't point it at them. There we go. And, oh, there's more. Oh, loads of people. Is there any more? Only one more. One more. There's always somebody at the back, isn't there? Oh. So I'll get out your way, love, because I know you've got to keep going. Hold on. There we are. I'll let you go. Thank you very much. You're so brave you're not doing that. And I don't know how you do it. Well, it must be good for you, you look fit. So, yeah, I've got other things now I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm still going to get about, I'm doing it differently. Like, say I wanted to go to Shrewsbury, which I do, and Chester. I've got my train pass, I've got my bus pass. I can save up for three or four nights in a B&B, &B. plan all places I want to go in advance so you don't waste time and miss stuff, because that's one of the places I wanted to go. I've climbed Snowden, I haven't really got any great urge to go over there now. I've done a bit of Wales, I did the Pembrokeshire coast. I've done Northumberland, Yorkshire, I haven't done it all. There's still patches of Yorkshire I wanted to do for history reasons. Um, uh, I've been up. To, I've done Scotland all the way up to John O'Groats before in the past, walking through the Caledonian Forest, um, visiting places. I hadn't done Aberdeen. I visited Inverness, um, Edinburgh. You know all the usual places. So this is like a, it's a reflective walk when I come. So anyone who thinks, oh God, she's just doing a, she, this woman's doing this place, you've got to hear all my stuff. <laughs> Somebody else is coming now. I'll turn off in a sec. Right, jump. Hiya. Hi. Lovely, Annette. Oh, yeah. We so deserve this.